everyone i hope i'm audible and visible can i get a quick thumbs up from all my dear students can i get a quick thumbs up from all of you i hope my audio video is fine so let's start with the today's uh, first session that is uh, dermatology mcqs which is the maze based and i'm dr cheshta agarwal your neat pg educator now let's start with the today's session with uh, just a few information that for this remaining month we have a lot important sessions awaited for example we have a neat pg free test calendar so there are few sessions which are left for example we have an uh, anatomy educator curator series today we have ob gynae by dr puneet sir then we have physiology by dr soman mana sir and we have a mixed bag session i would highly request all my students to please use my referral code cheshta10 to get yourself enrolled on this amazing platform the next is we are also planning for an all india mock test on may 1st 9 am so again it's a free test but you need to unlock it using a code and that is cheshta10 c h e s t a 10 now on an academy for all the students uh, we want you to achieve your goal and for that we have a special discounts which is only till today please use my code cheshta10 and get your subscription today if you get it today you will get 20% discount this offer is going till from 25th and now only till 28th you have this particular offer now we have different type of neat pg subscription we have plus iconic light and mbbs subscription kindly use my referral code cheshta10 and get yourself enrolled now uh, we have a mbbs uh, batch which is launched recently it's a very interesting batch where you will be taught about the first year subjects in detail this will help you crack your mbbs with a good rank as well as it will prepare you for your next pattern examination please use my code to get yourself enrolled for this amazing uh, discount the next is uh, we have uh, <clears throat> another very interesting session that is an academy light subscription for neat pg students i would be requesting all my dear students to kindly be a part of it we have overall 450 practice test paper here in this an academy light subscription i would also request all my students to get yourself enrolled for the plus subscription iconic which give you an access to both an academy and prep ladder we also have a neat pg pyq question bank where we have a lot of important sessions or series available for you we are also have a uh, daily test papers or dpp sessions which will be very important for all my dear students and we do take a lot of free live class every day at 3 pm so right now also at 3 pm i have a special class so please requesting all of you to attend the 3 pm special class we have a fmg high yield batch planned for 27th i would be requesting all my dear students to kindly be a part Now let's start with the today's first uh, session or first question. We have all the image-based MCQs today with us. Now this is the first question. Now I will give you a brief history with respect to this patient. This female complains of this female presented to us with complains of flaccid bullae associated with pain and burning sensation, mainly present on the upper trunk. and face or scalp what can be the diagnosis so flaccid bullae with pain this is a picture of which of the following condition can anybody tell me the answer for this i can see a lot of students live i would be requesting everyone if you can tell me the answer of this question anyone can tell me the correct answer of this question very nice shagufta the correct answer is pemphigus vulgaris now please look at this female this female presented to us with multiple flaccid lesions and you can see that this is not a, a recent image the patient was admitted in our department he was given oral or systemic steroids and because of which those fluid it got uh, dried up forming crust or erosion so these are some of the features which is very very important for the pemphigus vulgaris patients next question which of the following is false about this condition let me first show you the image which of the following is false about this patient's condition i hope everybody can see the image it's a very clear image where you can see purple color papules which is flat topped mainly present on the ankle So, which of the following is false? They are itchy. There is pigmentation. There is alopecia or stretch marks. Which of the following is the false statement? 
anybody can tell me the answer very nice shagufta this is a patient with what lichen planus and in lichen planus because there is no scratching only rubbing and that is why stretch mark is something which you never see please remember you see itching you see pigmentation you see scarring type of alopecia in the patients of lichen planus but stretch mark is a feature which is not seen in the patient of lichen planus what is the true association nemogen card 45 nr defect or sore one what is the true association of this condition let me show you the image very quickly let me show you the image so this is the image it's a young girl who gives a history that when whenever she goes out there is burning sensation over the face you can see a lot of uh, freckles as well as scarring so i've given you a lot of hint dr gaurav himanshu smiley shagufta can anybody tell me the correct answer for this what is the true association nemogen card 45 nr defect or sore one very nice very nice please remember the correct answer is option number 3 it is an ner gene defect now here the diagnosis is zero derma pigmentosa the diagnosis is zero derma pigmentosa in these individual you see photosensitivity on the sun exposed part you will see photosensitivity on the sun exposed part there will be freckling you can see scarring and these individuals are more prone for the Uh, cutaneous malignancy they tend to develop a lot of cutaneous malignancies i hope i'm audible and uh, visible to all of you am i audio video all fine or you see any lag in the audio video i hope it is fine yes so what is the correct match what is the answer the image shows multiple uh, lesions which are form soft to form in its appearance you can even see that there is a large lesion on one of the upper limb can you see this large lesion and rest part of the body have these small form lesions now we have seen the images tell me what can be the diagnosis here first tell me what can be the diagnosis what can be the diagnosis for this particular patient cafe au lait macule appears late in the disease so i think you all know that that no diagnosis is neurofibromatosis type 1 very nice now cafe au lait macule is something which appear first not last so this becomes a wrong statement neurofibromatosis one is chromosome number 17 not 22 so this is wrong and neurofibroma should be more than equals to 2 for making the diagnosis it should be more than equals to 2 for making the diagnosis so all the questions or all the options are incorrect except option number 2 which says that axillary freckling is pathognomonic this is a correct statement please remember axillary freckling is a pathognomonic condition theek hai now let's move to the next one we have history since 2 years what will be the diagnosis option number 1 2 3 and 4 bcc dle lichen planus or cutaneous tuberculosis what is the correct answer for this particular question anyone history since 2 years what is the correct answer very nice very nice so please remember the correct answer of this question is option number 1 in this image you can see a very characteristic rodent ulcer you can see a very very characteristic rodent ulcer in this particular patient look at the image at the inner canthus of the eye in a elderly patient on the sun exposed area you can see a beaded ulcer at few places it is very large at few places it is thin so it's a beaded ulcer like this having beads and if you look from side you will have inverted rolled out margins so this is a very characteristic basal cell carcinoma this is a very characteristic basal cell carcinoma 23 year old lady developed pigmentation of the cheeks with photosensitivity what can be the diagnosis what will be the diagnosis here 
a 23 year old lady presented with pigmentation on the cheek photosensitivity what will be the diagnosis sle rosacea melasma photodermatitis very nice shagufta smiley soni himanshu uh, ardra ragish very nice the correct answer of this question please remember the correct answer of this question is option number 3 here we are only discussing about the pigmentation for labeling it to be sle or rosacea or photodermatitis there should be formation of erythematous plaque not a macule so this is just a black macule which is present on the face of a sun exposed individual so this is a patient with melasma let's move to the next question identify the uh, images here colored scale micaceous scales ichthyotic scales or mica like scales identify what is given here colored scale micaceous scales ichthyotic scales or mica like scales anybody can tell me the answer anyone can tell me the correct answer for this particular question what is given here in the screen very nice the correct answer of this question is option number 3 ichthyosiform scales now if you look at this image you can see that there are fish like scales can you see there are so many fish like scales dry thick scales which is classical of ichthyotic scales next question is on your computer screen child presented with soreness in the mouth rash on the hands and feet as shown in the image what is the causative organism for this particular condition coxsackie a16 pox virus herpes virus or human papilloma virus what is the correct answer here anyone child presented with soreness in the mouth very nice very nice now please remember that in this particular case if you have lesions on the palm soles if you have lesions on the buttocks or on foot or on the mouth it is a patient with what is called as hand foot and mouth disease it's a patient with hand foot and mouth disease and the causative agent is coxsackie a16 please remember the causative agent is coxsackie a16 i think almost everyone is right shakufta gorav js smiley the next question is a 15 year old boy has an intense itching since one week on examination there is a large circular lesion on the back what is the likely diagnosis tinea corporis psoriasis granuloma annular or lichen planus 15 year old boy with intense itching since one week on examination there is large circular lesion on the back likely diagnosis would be nice very nice so this is a patient with very classical annular lesion with central clearing annular lesion with central clearing and it's a very very classical feature of tinea corporis take it how will you treat you will give these patients topical or oral antifungals the treatment of choice or the drug of choice is terbinafine next question this is a very interesting one a patient comes with the following lesions on his face the lesions are scarring in the centers increase in the periphery what is the most appropriate treatment for this patient's condition what is the most appropriate treatment for this patient's condition anyone most appropriate treatment for this patient's condition very nice the lesions are scarring in the center increase in the periphery so in the last question we have an annular plaque with clearing in the center but in this question we have annular plaque with scarring in the center so this is a very classical example of lupus vulgaris or cutaneous tuberculosis lupus vulgaris or cutaneous tb and for this particular patient you need to give anti tb medicines you will give h r z e for 2 month plus h r e for 4 month that is the intensive phase or the continuation phase and now if you want to uh, look at the image can you have a look here it's a annular plaque with activity in the periphery the periphery is red but center shows scarring 
very classical of lupus vulgaris. Now 18 year old male with a rash, what can be the diagnosis? 18 year old male with a rash diagnosis. Eighteen-year-old male with a rash. What is the diagnosis? Systemic sclerosis, dermatomyositis, SLE, or Jogren's syndrome. Nice. I think it's an easy one. Look at the first image. The image number shows a very characteristic sign or characteristic feature that is Gotrans plaque on the knuckles. So on the knuckles, we have Gotrans plaque. Then this is a very classical mechanic hand. Very classical mechanic hand. And here you can see that there is a erythema around the eyes which is known as heliotrop rash. All these rashes very classically associated with proximal muscle weakness. All this rash is associated with proximal muscle weakness and this becomes a very classical feature of dermatomyositis. This becomes a very classical feature of dermatomyositis. Very nice Shagufta, Smiley, Sony, Adash, Sushmita, Jatvik. Next question. Now, before going ahead, let, let me just uh, zoom this image for you so that you can have a better uh, view. So, this is a boy with multiple lesions. Can you see multiple hyperpigmented lesions, which is mainly present around the mouth, on the forehead, extending onto the eyebrows or eyelid? What is the diagnosis? They are increasing rapidly. Now, we will be continuing from here uh, in our special class. So I request all my dear students to please join me at 3 p.m. That is after 3 minutes on Unacademy Learning app. Please join me on Unacademy Learning app. I will be telling you the answer of this question and we will take our discussion ahead from this particular point. Please download this app right now. If they ask you for any code, it is JSTA10. These sessions which I will be continuing from here will be a free session. So please uh, do not worry about that. These are the special classes. Free special class. So I am winding up the today's session. I request all of you to please be live at 3 p.m. That is after 3 minutes on an academy learning app. I will take the session ahead from this particular image. We have lot more images for you waiting for all of you on the app so bye bye good day all of you hope to see you soon so many